everybody again and welcome at E36 Vlog 41 uh, reinforcement painted brakes and wheel bearings um, I've been busy a lot with uh, taking apart the whole drivetrain from the E36 uh, at the front still busy with that going to change a lot there um, I'm also going to uh, put reinforcement plates on top of the suspension uh, the 330i big brakes are back from the painter pretty nice result I'm going to show you guys that later in this uh, vlog and uh, the rear uh, wheel bearings from the E46 um, I'm going to let them exchange uh, at the garage uh, I just got uh, my parcel uh, arrived and I'm going to look at the parts now It's weekend but I have to go to work so I'm going to talk to you guys quickly on my way through. 
uh, when you want to paint your brakes and do an upgrade uh, you can uh, buy a second hand uh, set uh, and refurbish them or you can look at the brand in my case ATA and buy that one the price is about the same the quality is about the same uh, the only thing is uh, it costs a lot of more hours if you want to refurbish uh, your uh, used set uh, and uh, make it look uh, decent uh, well the painter are going to give them an 8.5 they were bitching about me uh, that uh, they had to sandblast it again because I didn't reach every spot. Well, they didn't reach every spot either with the same amount of paint. Um, what they said is they used the epoxy uh, primer base coat followed by the color and they topped it off. Uh, you can see it's uh, painted in a paint boot and it's also heated up. Uh, the result is, uh, is uh, very nice, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm glad with the result. Um, I also got new uh, brake cylinders, had to return one because there, uh, the box was open and there was a little bit rust on it. I also ordered a new um, uh, tool to uh, put them in uh, the right way. Uh, first I have to go to work, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you the result. Okay, the new wheel bearings at the rear from the E46 are mounted. Also some new wheel hubs and some fresh backing plates. When you drive 255 or 265 at the E36 or an E46, it's normal you hear some, uh, some noise at the rear, but it was a bit too much and it's gone now. But I still hear some uh, squeaking sounds uh, where the drive shaft hits uh, my diff. Over 600 meter volgt de twee rechte rijstroken bij het knooppunt de hoek om de borden A5 richting Haarlem te volgen. So it's uh, probably my uh, drive uh, shaft uh, center support. I am um, going to RM Motorsport right now. Uh, he's a specialist that uh, refurbishes my uh, automatic. So he's going to take a look at it. So I know. Volgt de twee rechte rijstroken bij het knooppunt de hoek om de borden A5 richting. Okay, answers. <coughs> well. Um, the wheels are getting hot, that's because uh, the brakes are uh, stuck a little bit, so I have to replace the rear brakes and uh, probably adjust the uh, handbrake shoes. Um, also the uh, differential rubber has some play, um, you put the car in reverse you hear like a bonk. Uh, to re replace that the whole differential has to come off and it costs us about 4 or 6 hours. So replacing uh, the rear brake calipers and differential rubber not very good news but uh, it is what it is so uh, stay tuned 